Shalom, Chavrim. I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live in a world of Ain Shalom. There is no peace, and what we're seeing right now is very disturbing coming out of Syria uh, near Deir Ezzor there. From what we're understanding right now, uh, and this is from a French paper, uh, tor- torto.com, jacquetoreau.com is a French paper. We did use uh, the translator to translate the article. I was already seeing reports from our own sources there on the ground in Syria that indeed U.S. warplanes have struck the Syrian military, killing 100 people thus far, including in that are Russian contractors, military contractors there on the ground. This is going to be a major major escalation. According to a joint uh, a combined joint task force command by the U.S. reporting about this, it was indeed the Syrian government targeting free Syrian army forces. Uh, they said here in an unprovoked attack by the, by the Syrian pro-regime forces prompts coalition defensive, defensive strikes. Syrian pro-regime forces initiated an unprovoked attack against a well-established Syrian Democratic Forces headquarters February the 7th. Now, I do not know what Syria's response is to this, but then again, it kind of makes you wonder, why is the Free Syrian Army allowed to be able to continue to take land away from the Syrian government and claim it as their own, and then Syria is not allowed to retaliate? Uh, it's kind of interesting. And then the U.S. to actually get involved and do an airstrike against the Syrian uh, government forces that not only take out Syrian government forces, but as well kill Russian military forces at, uh, at the same time. Unless the strike on the Free Syrian Army has actually also taken out American forces, which in that case there would also be a major devastation and not a good thing either for the Syrian government to do. Because if the American forces are embedded with them, that would be a big, big issue and no doubt. And of course, in both cases, on both sides, we don't know the full outcome. We are getting reports on the ground there in Syria that Russian forces were killed uh, along in this. They're calling them contractors, because they, but they are military contractors and advisors to the Syrian army. The question is going to be, though, is whether or not American forces were killed in the Syrian strike against the... Um, against the Free Syrian Army. Now, according to the initial reports that came out on the news, French news here, is that there were no uh, casualties amongst the Free Syrian Army, which kind of makes you wonder then why would uh, there be such a uh, an airstrike back against the Syrian government that also knowing that there are Russian contractors embedded with the Syrian forces there that would create such a massive loss of life. Uh, it's a very big issue that's going on right now there. We also know there's a big uh, conflict between uh, the United States and Turkey. Turkey is now talking about going to, to Idlib to move out more of the Kurdish fighters, but still threatening the U.S. Uh, U.S. generals saying they will not move and they will defend themselves if the Turkish military strikes against them. Uh, So it could create an alliance between Turkey and Russia that does target the Kurdish people uh, and end up being an all-out war. We do a lot of times on Hebrew Nation Radio Flashpoint with Bonnie Harvey. We talk about where will be the flash that ignites the world. We look like we might be getting a flashpoint right about now. Do pray. For all those that are involved, it's a very serious situation. Two world powers involved in this particular uh, conflict here in Syria, and it could easily go in a very bad direction there. Uh, so like I say, do let's pray that God will do something that will, will stop this type of a situation from escalating. And I might mention as well, <clears throat> I also saw this report Uh, Also on NewsBud, uh, Breaking Insider exposes rogue elements in CIA State Department blocking release of an American pastor from Turkish prison. Uh, That's this man right here, uh, pictured on here, and uh, his name is Pastor Andrew Brunson. And that was kind of alarming to me. Of course, we know that President Trump has been trying to get this man's release, but finding out that the State Department has been blocking his release makes me wonder if this pastor doesn't have some inside information that the coup in Turkey was staged from the beginning. Very troubling indeed. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Might also sh- share as well uh, the true uh, Sierra, RT has also released this particular uh, news today. True U.S. goal in Syria is to control over the resources, not fighting ISIS, according to the Russian MOD there that's coming out. And that's where the conflict is on the eastern side of the Euphrates. And of course, that is the most oil rich part of the Syrian nation. And the U.S. is backing the Kurds now. And they say that the Kurds and ISIS are working together. Local tribes 
tribesmen are saying that Kurds and ISIS are working together in concert there to take the entire region on the eastern side of the Euphrates. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Shalom.